Once you have an encounter with God, you can never be the same again. A real encounter with God will change your opinion, your lifestyle. You see, God doesn't just want to heal you. No, he wants to change you. Not only does he want to change you, he wants to equip you. He wants to restore you. He wants to bless you. He wants to empower you. He wants to release you. Somebody say amen. To transform nations. To transform lives. But how can this happen when you are in religion? How can this happen? When you are in religion. Let me show you what religion does. It misrepresents God. It gives a false pretense. It presents ideologies that God has not endorsed or consecrated. For example, you hear people say, miracles don't happen. God doesn't do miracles. Really? If God doesn't do miracles, why should I follow him? You say, well, what do you mean by that? Because God did miracles when he took the children of Israel from Egypt. He did miracles. He you know, made a way in the Red Sea. He did unusual things, fed them in the wilderness. Why? Because he says in his word, I am Jehovah Jireh. That's a miracle. I'm, I'm your healer. That's a miracle. I'm your savior. That's a miracle. He, the greatest miracle that God has ever given us is salvation. When we receive Christ, that's a miracle. Somebody say amen. So, when people say, well, I don't believe in miracles, they're ignorant or they're blinded. We have to see God demonstrate miracles. And some people say, well, in the last days, you're going to hear false prophets. Let me tell you something. False prophets cannot do greater signs than the true prophets of God. Some say amen. 